Hi guys, welcome to the channel and to the energy update for my friends Taurus, Virgo and Capricorn who are currently single, so let's find out together who's coming towards you. Page of Wands, Knight of Wands, clarified by the Eight of Cups and the Queen of Cups. Guys, there can be a fun interaction available for some of you with someone that can almost pretend to be like a friend for you when in reality they have something more in their mind when it comes to the connection with you. This page of ones, knight of ones combination of energies is kinda tricky because of the influence of the eight of cups, because of the dragon that is involved in this version of the card. And so this can be someone that is already around you. It can even be a colleague for some of you, someone that can make you a ton of compliments which can be understandable because they can be well deserved, but from the perspective of this person, there can be a second intention. There can be a hidden agenda almost. And this person can be relentless when it comes to the pursuit of a romantic connection with you. Perseverance. I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to. We also got the chop wood carry water uh, oracle card, which is like the wax on, wax off from the Karate Kid movie. Guys, some of you may have to be extremely careful uh, with an interaction that can be perceived as a temptation, but at the same time, an opportunity to play a dangerous game, because I also have to say, that uh, this person may not be completely free for some of you. Uh, there can be someone else on their side already present, you know? So the Queen of Cups can be an energy about love, you know, romance uh, that can bloom. The Queen of Cups is also an energy about intentions for me because she is able to understand the intentions of another person in order to figure out if they are genuine and sincere. The Eight of Cups is not in favor of this person, unfortunately, because you can be like the squirrel that is in the card and this person can be the dragon. The Knight of Wands pays the price for the association to a player, a cheater, you know, or someone that can lack consistency and effort. It is also a recurrent energy and so for some of you this can be a warning because the connection can truly be a source of curiosity because of the approach that this person can take towards you. But when it comes to fulfillment of art and soul, uh, we may not be there, you know? And so if you're looking for harmony, this situation kinda deserves a ton of attention following the mirror oracle card. Introspection is the key word for us, but if you're looking for stability, security, permanence, growth, endurance, this situation may bring up a ton of questions and doubts. And speaking about questions and doubts, energies of the connection, how does it feel? Seven of Cups, Four of Wands, clarified by the Six of Swords and the Page of Cups. Guys, some of you can be almost overwhelmed by the interaction with this person because they can push so much in order to earn something out of the situation that you can almost be puzzled, you know? At the same time, there is what we can consider as a crossroads somehow, some way, because the four of ones can be a desire for some of you, so we can think about the opportunity to build for the future, and you can question, the real chance to be successful with this person because they can truly be a fiery lover, but somehow, some way, uh, they may not be available to put in the effort in favor of a romantic connection built in the proper way. And for others of you, what can puzzle you is the fact that this person may be already involved in another relationship. So you can be aware that, let's say, they are taken and yet they still find a way to be ambiguous with you because they can throw at you multiple hints in order to let you guys know that if you are available, you know, something can be arranged. So that's why I was saying that 
this one seems to be a dangerous game. Ride the wave. In this case, my friends, pun intended, this person wants to ride the wave with you. And on the contrary, the Six of Swords can be an encouragement for you in order to evaluate the situation because chances are, if you give this person the green light, you may find yourself in rough waters and instead, the single warrior that we get in the Six of Swords is sailing towards the sun, which is an energy about inner happiness for me. And so even the level of clarity that some of you can have when it comes to how a romantic connection should begin in order to move forward in a trustworthy, stable and reliable way. The Page of Cups, guys, is a simple energy, a lovely token. It can match the Page of Wands. I have to say that some of you um, may be tested by this person because they can find a way to let you guys know that they have feelings for you. You know, one of those situations when someone all of a sudden can say, you know, I feel something for you. And maybe uh, we never saw the situation coming. This person can work this type of angle on you. And so you have to be polite, like the Page of Cups can be, but if you smell troubles following the Seven of Cups, chances are your intuition is spot on. And so this is a careful what you wish for type of situation. You can even be flattered by the compliments that this person can make you, but you know, this does not force you to accept a game that maybe you do not entirely like. So what's the advice for you? Six of Swords, Four of Swords, clarified by the Three of Cups and the Knight of Wands. Guys, this combination of energies speaks for itself. The Six of Swords is a recurrent energy as well in the advice position. So it is truly the encouragement to treat this interaction you know, with some distance, especially if it is in the workplace, because chances are this person is thinking about you in a way that can put you guys in a dangerous and tricky spot, because if they are not free, you can become the third person. So the one behind the curtains in a potential love triangle. And if they are single, but they love the game, well, be careful because there is really the chance to get burned in a game like this one. So you have to go within Four of Swords. You have to take a moment for yourself in order to evaluate the situation. And you have to basically write down a list of pros and cons because we get the Three of Cups, which can be an energy about good times, the opportunity to spend time with someone that we may like. There is nothing wrong with that, but we also have a family in this version of the card. A family can be a factor in a scenario like this one for some of you. If this person is not free and you are aware of that, the Knight of Wands is a problem. Guys, you can see this person as a seducer, whether they are free or not. If you, for whatever reason, allow this person to earn access in your life on an intimate level, so let's say that you sleep with them for swords, what can be perceived temporarily as a fun situation can suddenly become a tricky and dangerous game of lust that can even disappoint you guys moving forward because this person then can almost ghost you guys because if we think about the Six of Swords, it can be an energy about crickets. So they can lack truly the consistency that should be granted in favor of a connection in order for it to be stable, reliable, successful, healthy, balanced. You know, we can basically pick the adjective that can uh, work in the best possible way to describe a relationship. At the end of the day, the fact that this person 
knows how to move themselves in the pickup game should be something that should also represent a ringing bell for you. This person can be a pickup artist if they are single. Uh, let me uh, tell you that because they can have a set of strategies and just to give to you a lighter touch, they can be like Barney Stinson in How I Met Your Mother, you know, the playbook. This person can have a playbook when it comes to the opportunity to engage with potential persons of interest, you know. You are going to smell troubles in any case. Uh, the Seven of Cups is too prominent considering the Double Knight of Wands and the Eight of Cups. This person can be someone that can be good at this game. They will start with compliments, guys, but they are not genuine. They want to achieve something that can be a source of discomfort for you and so you may be called to say to them, look, I am flattered, but I am sorry. This is not the type of situation that I want to embrace, you know? And so I encourage you, you can say to this person, I encourage you to respect my decision without trying once again to force something to happen because it's not going to happen. Guys, you can handle the situation in any case. You have to pay attention. It's important. If we think about a partnership that can go the distance like the four of ones, this interaction doesn't seem to be one that can offer this type of progression in your favor. So the sooner you handle the situation, the better, because then there can be space in favor of the chance to interact with someone that can truly share with you a vision, a positive and fulfilling vision when it comes to the chance to build a connection the right way. Guys, I hope that I made myself clear and this was helpful somehow, some way. If you want to comment, like and subscribe, it will help our channel to grow. So thank you. And until next time, I wish you all the best. Take very good care of you and I will talk to you soon. Bye.